This is the era of business intelligence analytics and Power BI is leading that. You want to learn Power BI? This is the channel for you. Beginner series, 200 plus videos, advanced series, 100 plus videos. And if you are absolute beginner, don't know anything in Power BI, then start with four live videos. Subscribe to the channel. Hello and welcome to another video of beginner tutorial series. And in today's video, we are going to discuss one Power Query function which is table dot add fuzzy cluster column. Now table dot add fuzzy cluster column. What can it do is basically it can add a column for that. We require an argument table. First argument. Second is column name as text. Third is new column name as text. And fourth is optional set of argument. Now, what does it do? It adds a column new column name to the table with representative of the values of the column name the first column name which we are given the representatives are obtained by fuzzing magic values in a column name for each row means it will try to match those values and try to apply some kind of a fuzzy logic to get those value cleaned up so basically you will get some kind of clean matched values if there is something missing it's try to cover up that and it takes few you know option like culture ignore case and ignore space is something we are going to use uh, we have an example given below here on that case now similar column then we have this threshold now this is important parameter which we are not going to change but it you can uh, take its help you know to get a uh, little bit of text uh, analytics or text cleaning done with for you a number between 0 uh, 0.00 to 1.00 that specify the similarity score with the two values to be grouped for example grapes and grapes means missing p are grouped together if the option is set less than 0 0.90 a threshold of 1.00 only allows the exact matches okay so for exact match uh, there would be no fuzzy so note the fuzzy exact match might ignore differences like causing word order and punctuation so the default value is 0 0.80 which will keep it and transform table is another option now there is one example given here like employee id and you can see there are some spelling mistakes here which is happening and then we uh, you know the table is been created from records its column data type has been given location is the column name where we want and the location clean is the column with ignore case and true and you can see some clean values are coming so let's try this example. Let's see what happens when we try this example. So we take a, this example. We will go to Power BI now. Let's jump on to the Power BI. In Power BI, we would like to go to a Power Query. To go to Power Query, go to Home, Transform Data, Transform Data. And inside the Transform Data, we need a new query or new table. So we go here in the Home tab, New Sources. We say Blank Query. Once we get the blank query, we can call it fuzzy column. The name is just uh, a name here. It doesn't mean that it's going to create a fuzzy column and right click and advanced editor. Once we go to this advanced editor, we paste this code and we'll paste this code in the source, not uh, just like that. So in the source, we say table dot add fuzzy column. You get a table like this. Then you have to use the location field, clean the location field and give out the source. Look at the values which we have. And you can see the original column and the new column has certain differences and the um, there is correction of spelling at few places. Now this can help you to do little bit of data cleansing exercise. If you're planning to do, you can play around with the variable uh, threshold to, you know, up to what extent you wanted to do that. Now let me do one thing. Let me use this enter data under the home tab and let me enter some data here. Okay. So what I wanted to do here is let me call country. And in the small case, let me give country. Let me remove make this C. And then let me do a spelling mistake here. C O U N T Y. Then let me use state and this time I'll use state, but I make it state data stata. then city correct spelling and then city, the city bank city. Okay. And let's call it 
fuzzy too. So we got this table. Okay. Now we wanted to do similar kind of stuff here. Let's look at this. So we won't like to have this uh, ignore case and ignore true. So we will take these things and let's go to the new table. Right click on the new table, advanced editor and comma and enter into the next line so that we go over this one and we'll say clean data and we have a field data which we want to clean and we'll say table dot add fuzzy cluster column here the table name is the last step table name and that's what you have to remember unless you are creating a new query where you can take this query name or the table name the last step table name is the something which we have to take change step change type the second is the column name which is data third is the new column name which is let's say clean data fourth is the arguments which we got from there so basically in we are going to give two argument ignore case and ignore spaces and based on that we want to give this if you don't want to ignore the spaces you can leave this property now we don't can't return change type we have to return the new step and this is what happens when you do things manually when you do things manually you need to take care you are returning the correct step every next step you are using some reference of the older steps like in this case we are using table so we should use tables from the last step if you are creating a new table outside this one needs to create a new query you can use the table name now let's look at what we got country 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 state state city city so we got a cleaned data or we can go get a data which is fuzzily matched with each other to give us the data it may help you sometime to do a cleaning which you require where there are small amount of mistakes it's not too much of that so we can use this feature which is uh, there in power query which can give us you know fuzzy matching and give us the correct data using that fuzzy magic fuzzy logic and it's magic for us so go ahead and try that out do let me know what else you want me to cover in this particular series thanks for watching this video thank you keep watching keep asking questions in comments subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos thank you